Hey fellow crypto enthusiast, welcome to today's quick trend analysis. Let's get straight to it. In today's video you will find out how the price of Litecoin has changed and what the technical indicators EMA, RSI, Divergence and MACD are showing. If you are not familiar with the indicators, check out the explanation videos down below in the description. Looking at the hourly time frame for Litecoin, the price rapidly went down with around 12.0% in the last 24 hours, with a current price of 68.3. We can see that the sellers are taking over because the volume was high, showing that this move was strong. Jumping to the hourly exponential moving averages, the price at the moment is is situated below the hourly ribbon, which is usually bearish and the ribbon can act as a resistance, so you should keep an eye on if the price will break it or bounce of it. The current price to watch is around 72.8. The ribbon is relatively spread out so the resistance should be considered. Jumping to the hourly relative strength index, the current hourly RSI of 34 is in the lower region, which means that the price is oversold and a rebound or some kind of consolidation is possible. Searching for divergence in the hourly time frame, there is a bullish divergence, which means the price could go up from now or at least consolidate for some time. Moving to the hourly MACD, the MACD line is below the signal line, which shows that the current trend is on the downside. The MACD histogram shows that the momentum is currently indecisive so consolidation for some time or shifting the momentum could be expected and it is to wait to see if the MACD line will cross the signal line, which will be bullish. Moving to the three hourly exponential moving averages, the current price is below the three hourly ribbon, which is generally bearish and the ribbon could play as a resistance, so it is to watch if the price will bounce off it or break it. The current price to watch is around 74.8. Nevertheless, a trend change can be expected owing to the ribbon being compressed, which means that the trend is currently not very strong. Looking at the 3-hourly relative strength index, the current 3-hourly RSI of 33 is in the lower region, which means that the price is oversold and a rebound or some kind of consolidation is possible. Searching for divergence in the 3-hourly time frame, there is a bullish divergence, which means the price could go up from now or at least consolidate for some time. Moving to the 3 hourly MACD, the trend is currently going down because the MACD line is below the signal line. The momentum is currently indecisive, according to the MACD histogram. This means you should wait and see if the MACD line will cross the signal line, which will be bullish, due to the expected shifting momentum. Moving to the daily exponential moving averages, the current price is now in the daily ribbon, so you should see if the ribbon could hold support, currently at around 64.0. The support should be considered because the ribbon is more or less spread out. Moving to the daily relative strength index, the current daily RSI is at 48, so it doesn't show signs of overbought or oversold conditions at this point. Looking at the daily MACD, the MACD line is below the signal line, which shows that the current trend is on the downside. The MACD histogram shows that the momentum is currently strong and it could be expected the price to go further to the downside. In general, the larger time frames have a greater impact on the price, so please remember that when we display different time frames with different indicators. And also the shorter time frames are only representative for the short-term trading. Thanks for watching. New videos are uploaded every few hours analyzing various cryptocurrencies, so be sure to subscribe so you don't miss out. If there is something that you didn't understand, leave us a comment below and we'll get back to you. You should know that trading with cryptocurrencies is very risky and these videos are only an overview of what happens with the price and a pure technical analysis without considering the fundamentals. So you should read more and make your own investing decisions. See you next time.